All right, guys, today we are testing viral TikTok Minecraft hacks. So if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, leave a like and leave a comment. But today we're about to find out if these actually work in Minecraft or not, or if these are fake. By the way, we are so close to 3 million subscribers. So if you don't subscribe right now, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. But yeah, let's jump right into this. I'm so excited, man. This is my first ever TikTok Minecraft video. So yeah let's do this okay so this first one we got some redstone going redstone yay i'm not too good at redstone so i'm not too excited for this i don't really want to do this but let's see what this tiktok is all about and why it's viral wait a second yo i've seen this before actually is it is it the minecart wave where it goes like this yo i've always wanted to find out how to make this so let's see Yo, this person's giving us the secrets. <gasps> oh, dude, that's so cool. Yo, we, we got to test that one out. That one looks amazing. Okay, so it's time to test out the first Minecraft hack. I've always wanted to make something like this. So it's very, very exciting to see if it actually works or not. We're going to go with, yeah, this should be enough. Um, so ever since I saw something like this, I've always wanted to try it out. So I think this is how you do it, right? You just place like repeaters right here. And do I need another one? I don't know if I need another. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The redstone comes later. I think we place down slimes just like this. And then on top of that, we just place blocks so we can put the railings on top and then place the mine cart as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then just like that mine cards there yo this is so exciting if this works guys like that person is a god oh okay i heard i hear the mine cards like moving so i thought it just fell off but i think this is good all right so now we gotta place the redstone right here oh gosh all right and then right here i think is where we place the button and do i just press the button oh my god this is so cool yo this is oh my gosh I can't believe I actually made that. Look at this. Yo. <laughs> I can't believe I was the one who made this. Look. Look behind me. Yo, this is so cool, guys. And I've seen people, like, make it automated, so it just keeps going on forever. But, oh my gosh, dude. This is so cool. We actually did it. All right. Yep. This has been approved, guys. It actually works. Yo. All right, all right, guys. Let's move on to the second Minecraft hack. Okay, so we have a seed TikTok Minecraft hack now. So this person used the seed 69. Is this a joke or is this real? I can't tell, guys. They they are playing on Bedrock Edition, so we can test it out. Um, oh, they are at... Wait, hold on. We have to look at the coordinates too. Were they at 69, 69, 69? I believe they were and they just dug straight down yeah so they were at 69 69 69 they dug down and what happens don't tell me it's about to be a troll whoa what the one two three f how many there's diamonds there's there oh my we have to test that one out guys a seed minecraft hack I feel like this is a joke but we have to test it out and see if it you know gets busted or if it's a real Minecraft hack. Okay, so for the second Minecraft hack, we are using a seed, a seed called 69. We're gonna go into creative mode so we can actually fly over to the correct coordinates, which is 69, 69, 69, I, I believe. We're gonna make it show coordinates, and just so no one joins me while I'm recording this video, just gonna turn off multiplayer, but um, I'm gonna grab a pickaxe, because we'll go back into survival after we get to the coordinates. But we're going to teleport to 69, 69, 69. And here we are. Oh, I, yo, I, I actually think this might be a legit seed. I'm not going to lie. So this is why they place blocks around them. Because the water was in the way. All right. Let's see if it works. Oops. Oh. All right. And then they filled up the blocks right here. And here we go, guys. Time to dig down. Uh, game mode S. Here we go. I'm about to dig down, guys. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? All right, let's see if it takes us straight down to where it actually took them in the video. If I'm correct, if we dig straight down, it's going to take us down to... 
lava level, but we're gonna land straight on diamonds or like to an area with diamonds. And there's also gonna be a mob spawner or a dungeon. You guys ready? Let's hope this is real. Please be real. I'm really hoping guys, I'm praying. Please let this be a real Minecraft hack. Come on, please. What? Maybe, just maybe they were on a different update or something like that and it's different every, I don't know guys. Like I legit had faith in this. I was really hoping it would take us down to diamonds and they landed around 14 as well. So if we went down to 14, right? It would have been right here. The diamonds would have been right here guys, but there, there's no diamonds. I'm mad. I'm actually mad. This one is a fail guys, but but before I leave and test out the next life hack or the next Minecraft hack, I'm actually really excited for the next one because the next one is actually really, really cool. But let's blow it up, see if there's anything nearby. Please be some diamonds. And... Oh! Wait. The, yo, there was actually... Yo, there was actually a diamond around. But anyways, uh, let's jump into the next Minecraft hack, number three. All right, guys, we got another redstone one, it seems, and is that like a, wait, is that like a secret base one? Wait, is, oh, the crafting table blocks out the, oh my, that is so legit. We have, oh my gosh, guys, we have to test that one out for sure. This would be so useful on the realms SMP, guys, I'm telling you. Okay, so the third Minecraft hack is actually very simple, but really effective. It's, uh, it's kind of like a secret base. So first off, what they did was place a cauldron right here, right? And then after that, you let, let's say you have like a little secret base underneath your house, right? So you have some ladders and stuff like that. You got some ladders leading up back to your house, but you don't want people to see it. And also if you place something right here, you'll have to break it every single time. So that's where redstone comes in. And I'm not very good at redstone, which is why videos like these are actually really helpful. They're like really, really cool tips. So from here, right behind the, uh, all right, let's put water in here actually. So uh, right behind the cauldron, you wanna place a redstone comparator. And from here, I think what we need to do is also place a block, like a placeholder right there with the sticky piston, as well as the bookshelf right here. That's gonna be blocking uh, the ladder or the, yeah, the ladder. So they can't see it from here. This is where the easy part comes in. All right, guys, you ready for this? I hope it works. Let's break the placeholder. Then you want to start placing redstone. One, two, three. Oh, hey, villager. Uh, hi, I I'm not doing anything to your house. Okay. Uh, I'm just helping out your house. You want to place a redstone repeater right here and two more redstones. And just like that, take a look at this guys. Now, You'll have no clue. Oh, oops. I should probably block this off again so no one even knows. All right, there we go. Everything looks normal, right? Every It doesn't look like there's anything suspicious. Now, when you take water outside, there we go. Now we can go down into the secret base, you know, make it bigger and stuff like that. This is actually quite quite useful. I might have to do something like this, guys. On, on Realms SMP, this might be a little tip I'm going to be using for a little secret base this is so cool guys it's so simple and easy too so if you guys want to try it out go ahead and check it out uh but anyways guys uh let's move on to the last one i think i don't know it depends like some of these videos if i do any more we're gonna do like three to four okay okay we have another seed one i love the seed ones guys so it says i found the literal best minecraft bedrock edition seed bedrock edition yep here we go so that's the seed right here and I think this might be the spawn you sp Oh, there's the uh, coordinates for that. We got the coordinates for a mi Oh, wait, that's crazy. Double mineshaft build into stronghold near slime chunk. Oh my gosh, this is insane. We got diamonds too. Oh, uh, that's a win guys. That That is definitely a win. Okay, so the last one is a seed hack. I really hope I don't get scammed like last time because you guys see the 69 seed, I really got trolled, man. At first, I thought it was real because they showed us like gameplay and stuff, but yeah, so it's 154476315. 
and just like that let's go ahead and hop on oh i forgot to turn on coordinates i should probably do that right now let's turn on the coordinates and then let's teleport to the correct coordinates i think it was 98 so tp 98 198 and then just straight down i believe oh wait by the way we got a we got a nice village right here at this oh we got whoa this is so cool it's like a village plus the uh, pillager outpost like right beside there i i don't know if that's impressive to you guys but i haven't seen a a village like that before that's really cool actually i don't know if this is right underneath the oh we got some golden stuff right here okay so these aren't the coordinates with the right thing so let's see where it is oh yep here it is guys and i think if we go uh so so we have a nice desert village right here right now i think if we go underneath the well it might take us to the stronghold i'm not too sure let's check it out though let's check oh oh never mind it's just a normal cave i thought it would have taken me to the mine shaft that they were talking about wait a second guys i just used the uh locate command and it took me right back to the village so it should be right underneath here wait i i looked up the stronghold and oh it it, it was here oh my gosh guys i i they weren't lying this actually works let's check out this stronghold and we got double double mine shaft i guess this is super super awesome all right guys this one has been confirmed one of the best seeds so i believe it oh of course oh here it is we got the mine shaft and stuff oh my gosh and direct entrance into the stronghold as well very very cool guys okay okay all right if you guys have any like amazing minecraft hacks or amazing minecraft seeds tell me in the comments down below i would love to check it out but yeah guys this is actually really really cool apparently this seed also oh here it is oh my gosh we got the library right here and what kind of loot oh not not the best loot but i'll take it you know so oh my gosh guys they were not lying wow okay we got some redstone going this is what i'm looking for guys okay so this seems pretty simple just sticky pistons and some repeaters oh is this like a hidden redstone bridge or something like that yo this is actually very very interesting and it seems really simple as well whoa i feel like yo i feel like anyone can do this actually oh and it's with the triple oh it's a trap oh it's a redstone trap i think i've made something like this before as well yo we still have to test it out though guys we oh my gosh i don't think i did it with the tripwire last time that that is something we need to test out so the first minecraft tiktok hack is actually pretty simple redstone but it's actually so so effective to try on your friends like honestly it's 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 pretty fun guys like i'm gonna switch it up just a little bit and use a lava pit so it's uh you know a little bit different uh so i think what we're gonna do is place these right i'm gonna be placing these right here and then i think from here i still place more blocks right here here i think wait hold on hold on i think i'm doing this wrong we need we need our sticky pistons so the sticky pistons go like this i believe just like so and then we'll place our blocks right here and we do the same with the other side just like we saw in the video i'm just basically showing you guys a little demonstration on how to do this just in case you guys want to test it out you know but, uh, you know, I did say I'm going to add a twist to this. All you guys need to do is uh, place some lava at the bottom. Yes, because in survival, there's not going to be an endless pit. You know, the, the little, um, what do you call it? The void isn't going to be there if you do that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and place this right here. And then behind all of these, we need repeaters, right? I think we go two gaps out. So repeaters go right here. Oh, oops right here and i think all of them need two ticks too so one two, wait one two one two one two one two one two okay set the same one on the other side too one two one two one two um and then you place your redstone down after you do that you want to activate activate all the redstone with a redstone torch on both sides so i think just like this oh yep yep so we got the bridge 
which means the person right here they're gonna have no clue they're gonna be like wait yo there's diamonds at the end of this tunnel free diamonds oh my gosh thank you so much like don't mind if i do right but little do they know there's a trap on their way and then you want to cover out the sides just so that you know they don't see what's coming you know they, they they have no clue that there's actually redstone behind this they just come in with some uh with an iron pickaxe come in here to take some free stuff so i think right here is where we would i think back here is where we place the tripwire i'm not too sure let's let's test it out okay just like that the tripwire has been activated and i have the redstone attached right here you just have to follow the instructions right here you know it's just right beside the redstone but when i do step on the tripwire it activates the redstone but it doesn't do anything and why is that well right here is a really easy fix all you have to do is put the redstone torch on the block just like so so it's still activated it's back to normal we want to do that do the same thing on each side and now it should work so if we step on this um you know i have faith in this so i'm just gonna go into survival mode and test this out you guys ready in three two one let's see if i can get to the diamonds before i die oh never mind Okay, so Minecraft hack number two. Let's see what this person is up to. They placed some... This is another redstone one. And so they... Wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's another secret base one. Just like last time, they used a cauldron. But this time, they used a dropper. Hold on. So right behind the painting, there's nothing. So we have to test this out. I don't know if this is going to be successful. I don't know exactly how he made it, but I'm going to have to look back at it oh my gosh so it gets it gets activated with one hopper oh this is so cool guys and this would be perfect for a secret entrance that's okay okay we have to test this one right now okay so this minecraft hack seems a little bit complicated and a little confusing but we're gonna try it out anyways what the heck is going on over here oh my gosh guys i thought this was gonna be a good seed but um yeah, it's about to it's about to be in flames in just a second but all we need are these items right here we need a comparator cauldron painting sign so we can actually place the you know the painting so let's go ahead and start off with the painting uh portion and make this easier on ourselves and back here i think we need to put the cauldron right here i think and we're also gonna need like a little secret base but we'll work on that in just a second so from here what you want to do place the sign right here boom bop and then i think what we're gonna do now is just place this right here oh wait another one right here and right here so we can actually place down the painting okay there we go just like that now we have a painting right here no one even knows there's something behind there it's actually quite nice okay can you guys leave please please villagers i'm just doing a little minecraft tiktok hack okay okay so i just need to make a quick fix to this uh turns out the secret base isn't gonna be right here it's actually gonna be right underneath here okay so let's place the ladders down here because the um sticky pistons are actually gonna be connecting to this it's actually way way easier than i thought it was guys like i'm just learning redstone left and right now and i had to put the sign over here because this is the block these are the blocks right here that's going to be moving so put the redstone right here put the redstone right there or the sticky pistons right there now you guys know what we do just throw something in there hey <laughs> and no one will ever have a clue that there is a secret base down here. this is actually so cool guys and then after you're done take out your stuff and boom no one ever knew you had a secret base right here Certified Th this one has been approved guys. Let's move on to the next minecraft hack it Says to create the elevator all you have to do is stack this design Okay, it seems pretty simple enough. They're just using sticky pistons and normal pistons and Okay Follow these steps to create the starting button Okay, it seems like it seems pretty simple to me Let's see how it works. Ooh. Change the repeater on the top level to one more tick so the last piston pulls you over. 
Whoa, that's okay. All right, guys, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but we have to test it out, guys. We have to. This one requires a ton of quartz blocks just to make it look nice and pistons. So what we need to do is just, you know, build up something like this, like a nice design like this. And then from here, I believe... So you go right here, and then we just go one, two, three, I think, just like this. We're going to use a lot of redstone here, guys. So just keep that in mind. We place a redstone torch down here. It's blinking. All right, so after that, we're going to be placing a repeater, just like so. One tick, I believe, and then another redstone. Uh, and we're going to place a sticky piston right here and a normal piston looking facing up. So basically we just repeat this three layers. I think yeah, we're gonna go with three layers. Oh, it's activated So we're gonna go three layers just to make it look interesting, you know, just to make it look nice Come on. Can I yes, there we go. You want to make it face uh, Sideways in this one. Oh, oops upwards. There we go And I think that's actually good. And then if we go one more layer, we just need to make that next one three t or two ticks for the repeater so just like so one more right here oh my gosh this is i'm starting to learn redstone that it that it's actually not that difficult oh wow okay there we go one right there two ticks on this one and then we can't forget the redstone torch and then now we need to work on the button which is the hardest part i believe like activating the button but before we do that, just got to make sure I place the pistons. There we go. Now we have, just like that, we have a nice <laughs> elevator, guys. Oh my god, this is so cool. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what am I doing wrong here that's not allowing me to get this elevator to work? So I'm not, okay, I'm not going to approve this one. Let's just go to the next Minecraft hack because my brain hurts just, just trying to get this to work. Okay, so Minecraft hack number four. Let's see what this person is building. Okay, they got some soul sand. Wait, what is... Oh, wait, I, I was like, what is that? But... Is that what I think it is? Yo, you guys saw the bubbles, right? You guys saw the bubbles. That's a whole hot tub in Minecraft. Yo, that's actually so cool. I thought it was going to be like some scary build or something like... Yo, this actually looks so cool. We're gonna have to build it in Minecraft, guys. It's a, it's a design that we gotta test out. It's, it's, it's a Minecraft TikTok, so we gotta test it out. Finally, we can take a break from redstone for once. All right, so for this one, uh, to build the hot tub, all you're gonna need is a block of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, soul sand, a bucket of water, and some spruce trap doors. And all you guys have to do is repeat this. You know, you want to place a normal block of quartz, stairs, stairs, and then slab, and then repeat that until you're done. Until you have a full, you know, a full square, basically. And then in the middle, I think we place these. Or, oh, we go down one, I believe. So just like so, we go down one. I'm just skipping ahead, skipping some steps. And then we make a cross down here, place some soul sand. And then water because that creates the bubbles i believe oh there we go we got the bubbles coming up there we go just like that and then let's just finish off the design of the hot tub there we go guys the redstone killed me man my brain is fried right now but we're almost done with this so we can finally relax you know relax and enjoy our little hot tub so before we do that we just place the trap door down over here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so nice. You know what? On the openings, I'm not even going to place the uh, the trap doors. Just like so. Oh my gosh, this is going to look so nice, guys. Man, this could... Oh my gosh, I could do this on Realms SMP. This would look so nice. There we go. And just like that, we have a very, very nice looking hot tub. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. You know, this is little hot tub special they place more water so let's just fill up the entire hot tub with water now and see what it would look like if it's full like a hundred percent oh okay this i like it i like it guys i like it okay we got another minecraft hack let's see what this person is doing 
I got some armor stands. They're just gonna place it down real quickly. Facing each other, I think. Then he puts helmets on those armor stands. Okay. And then blocks on top of it. Pistons. Activates the pistons. I have no clue what's going on here, but wait, weighted pressure plate. Hold up, wait. Doesn't that kind of look like a stove? That kind of guys, when you can't when you can't make up real furniture in Minecraft, you have to basically settle and like use glitches and stuff like that. We're we're gonna test this out just for the fun of it. And just like that, we are back to more redstone. But this is actually super super simple redstone. So all we gotta do is uh, make a little stove. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. So what we're gonna need to do place the oh wait make the make the armor stands face each other i think and then we put the helmets on the iron helmets it has to be iron helmets we want to place two blocks right here and then on top of that oh wait no we place the uh oh there we go we place the sticky pistons facing down or is it no i think it's normal pistons so we're placing normal pistons right here facing down on the blocks oh and then come on there we go and then we activate the pistons just like that break the pistons oh it's actually working and then the last thing to top it all off the weighted pressure uh the weighted pressure plates guys there we go and just like that we have a stove in minecraft this is so cool guys they got trap doors and stuff like that, but we've got... Wait, yo, this is like a little like fire, fire arrow launcher. Okay, we got to test that one out for the finale, guys. It looks really, really easy and simple as well. So we got to test it out very easy. So anyways, let's go ahead and test out the last Minecraft, hick, uh, the, 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 the My Minecraft TikTok hack. Last but not least, we have a pretty fun one. So we are going to be making a little fire arrow dispenser or a little launcher right here. So what you want to do is build a two by three just like this. Place some trap doors and then put them all up on each side just like so. Boom. Then after this, you want to break all the ones on top, I believe. Yep, just like so. And then place your dispenser. This is actually way easier than I thought it was. And then after this, wait, actually, I break this one, right? Place your lever right here. And then we're going to place a spruce fence gate, I think. Yeah, just like so. And then I think we break this one too, I think. And then we place down the lava. Oh, by the way, guys, you're going to have to turn off do fire ticks. So, you know, it doesn't burn down all the wood right here. And I think after we put some arrows inside of this dispenser, it should work. It should work. Please, please work for the finale, guys. For the fun finale. Let's test it out. Ready? Oh, yes, it actually works. Oh, and the trap doors go too. Okay, I, I forgot to break this. But look. Yo, this actually looks so cool, especially with the trapdoor going up and down. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my redstone knowledge is leveling up every single time I record these videos. So we got another cauldron one and it seems like they are making a redstone door. Oh my gosh. So, yep, it's another cauldron one. And basically, they have to extend it all the way to the other side so the pistons actually reach all the way to the other side. Oh my! Dang, all that work just to open up a door. But that's actually really cool so they can actually get into like a storage room where they keep their diamonds and stuff like that. And some people might not know. They might just see a cauldron there and they might be like, oh, that's just where they put water. But when you take water out or when you put water in, it actually triggers the redstone to work. So that's something we definitely need to test, uh, you know, test out because the first video that we did, we did a lot of like cauldron stuff. So that was actually really, really fun to do. Okay, so I made a smaller version of the vault that we saw in the TikTok because, guys, we're here to work smart, not hard, okay? So, uh, as you guys can see, I put a chest right here with a ton of diamonds in it, and now we just gotta get started with the, uh, 
the redstone. So I believe they placed, uh, you know, obviously the cauldron right here that we're gonna be placing water in. You can use a hopper as well, I believe, but hey, we got the cauldron right here. Easier to access. Actually, it, yeah, I think the hopper would be uh, better anyways, but it doesn't really matter, guys. So from here, you would put redstone down. I'm just basically following the directions of what we saw in the uh, the thing. So I think we do need water in here to get it. Yep, to get it activated. And from here. You put some redstone right here, redstone right there, and right here we would put the sticky pistons. Oh wait, should we go one more? Um, you know what? I'll, I'll place another repeater right here, cause why not? Cause repeaters only help it out, you know. So we're gonna put the sticky pistons down, facing towards that way. Yeah. Oh, wait. Why? Why is it not working? Oh no, it should activate it. I'm not too sure why. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh, wait, wait, okay, okay. I think I have an idea why. Uh, I'll place redstone on top of here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm getting used to the redstone. And the hard part is to actually get this signal to go to the other side because what's enabling it isn't from the center, it's from the left side. So we have to bring the uh, signal all the way across. So we gotta keep going and hope the uh, signal does not die off. So <laughs> let's just bring the signal all the way over the redstone dust. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Uh, you know, you guys get the point, you know? The other side is gonna need to, the same thing anyways. It's actually quite, si quite simple. Wow, that voice crack goes crazy, goes nuts, and the crowd goes wild. All right, right here, so you wanna place the, oops, wrong way. Uh, you wanna place this right here, this right there and we should be done all right so let's test it out you guys know what i did right it's basically attached all the redstone there you just need a comparator at the beginning to activate the uh, redstone so you want to take your uh, empty bucket get the water out and it opens up the door okay okay there's a delay on this side because you know uh i guess if you don't want if you want them to open at the same time just delay this side i guess oh wait you don't have to delay oh my gosh delayed this side but let's try it out place it in there and now it should all open at the same time yep exactly you just have to time things correctly and boom there you guys have it tiktok hack number one okay so it seems like we have another redstone one but why are they building it in the middle of the sky i don't know what this one's all about but what the heck is happening Yo, it's just shooting out a ton of chicken, fish, and like, what is happening? And they just release it just by breaking the glass. Oh my gosh, that's like a mob, like, bomb or something like that. I think I have an idea how they did it. So we got to test it out. It's just like automatically, it, it's just continuously looping, right? That's, okay, that's something that I've always wanted to like test out. It's, it's, it's not something that I wanted to, but like since we're here like might as well test it out it's a it's a pretty cool tiktok hack right it's a viral tiktok hack so we gotta check it out okay so this next one is actually really weird so what i have set up right here is like a little like glass cage i guess and we have a dispenser right here you want to place water right here for the for the fish one i believe so after you do that there we go oh this actually has a really nice village on the sea but that's besides the point um we're gonna oh no no, no don't fall off now uh, we want to set up like an infinite loop or something never done this before i'm learning a lot of things alongside with you guys so you want to place an active redstone block right here then a comparator and to activate the infinite loop i believe oh wait so you would place it right here actually wrong wrong spots i think yeah so you want to place redstone right here the redstone block goes here and then the comparator and it should be done yeah so now it's an infinite loop i believe and you also want to put redstone oops oops you want to put redstone on top of here yep now it's an infinite loop now the next thing we got to do hold on all right next thing we got to do we just place tropical fish and it should start shooting out i believe oh yep there we go you activate the uh, comparator and there it goes guys should we shoot it out boom <laughs> yo i don't know why it's not flying out as hard as the other one should we why is it not like going as hard as last time wait 
from the video it looks so much crazier i don't know why it's not okay you know what I'm, I, I gotta place more uh uh tr oh, oh well, let's try the villager one okay so i'm gonna try the villager one i'm just gonna fill this entire dispenser with villager spawn eggs and oh Oh, 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 you're spawning in the wrong box. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Don't you dare escape now. All right, there we go. All right, now we got a ton of villagers in this. All I got to do is click this in just a second, break this glass, and you guys are about to see a ton of villagers scatter. Oh, wait, I should probably put water down here, huh? There we go. I'm ready for this. You guys ready? What? How did that? How did that villager just fly all over? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm breaking this. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. They, they just scattered. Holy guac. Okay, before I break this world, there we go, guys. There we go. All right, guys. Second Minecraft TikTok life hack or tic TikTok hack approved. We got another redstone one. I swear, guys, the redstone ones tend to blow up a lot. And... I'm not too sure what's going on here, but there seems to be a dispenser and arrows. Oh no, it's another one of these. Wait, whoa. Okay, that's actually really cool. How the uh, the redstone or the, the piston keeps moving it back and forth, activating the, the dispenser. Wait, watch this guys. That's, oh my, that's actually so cool. It's just like a continuous cannon shooting whatever it's it's in front of them. So, oh, we got to test it out with like mobs in front of it. Oh my God, that's how, that's how you torture your friends, guys. We got to test it out and see what, you know, see if it actually works or not. Okay, this one is so easy, but so cool at the same time. All you got to do, place a block and place a sticky piston facing this way and then an active uh, redstone block and just like oh yes we got oh 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 no what are these villagers doing they're just jumping off then you want to place a dispenser right here and just to add some design you know you add this over here add this over here a trap door as well boom boom now the tiktok didn't have this but you could add some flavor to this if you guys really really wanted so hey if you guys want flavor we'll add flavor just like so boom break this i'm gonna um actually you know what let's go one more i think we need a fence gate for this all right we're placing a fence gate right here oh yes this is gonna be quite perfect and uh just set the game rule to do fire tick false and now it should be perfect yep it won't burn on fire or anything like that place some uh arrows in here and you're good to go guys one last thing to do, place this right here, and it's gonna shoot whatever's in front. Oh my gosh, four villager guys. Yo, these guys are just, oh, I'm so sorry. That's how you make a fire arrow cannon. Holy guacamole, this is actually way more effective than I thought it was. And it's so easy to make, guys. Like, what do you guys think? Like, this is so easy to make too. Oh my, okay, we should probably, oh, how did that villager not get his head squished? Okay, let's end this redstone now. Okay, anyways, this one has also been approved. I love this, man. Okay, dancing armor stands. Yo, I let me just tell you guys, I've never done this before. So this is definitely something I want to test out in today's video. Be oh, and you can put armor on them so they look even cooler. We could, we could have like a little like wither skeleton or like... I don't know, we could have like zombies or like a Steve basically dancing around. We gotta try that. We gotta try that right now. I've never done this one before, but it seems pretty simple as well. So all you gotta do is place the armor stands facing each other so they're like dancing in front of each other, right? And then after that, you need a redstone torch. Place that on both blocks. So I don't know why they're not dancing yet. I think it needs like... A continuous loop or something like that yeah so you want to place some redstone right here and in the middle you want to place a comparator and on each side you want to place a repeater i think just like so right and then activate it they're gonna dance i'm waiting for them to dance okay how about i place it towards this way how do i make them dance okay i was wrong it's supposed to be comparators facing this way and then you turn this on and turn this on as well and it should work oh oh wait wait and you need redstone right here too 
There, oh my, there we go, guys. There we go. Now we got two dancing armor stands. So sorry for that, guys. Like, I, I'm just a tester. Don't blame me, okay? So we're gonna need some armor. So let's just go with diamond. Let's just go with diamond, the classic, guys. Let's the, let's go with the classic. I right, wanna give it a sword, just like that. Uh, both full armor and maybe a shield too. Oh yes, we should go with the shield. Okay, we got shields and last but not least we got we need a head guys one's gonna be a dragon and one's gonna be a creeper yes all right let's put the head on this one let's put the head on this one oh my god yo okay okay and then we gotta put the armor on just like so bop 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 and then the sword sword <laughs> the shield the shield no 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 wrong wrong oh my gosh wait wait give where did the shield go? Oh my gosh, guys. Let's try this. Do not mess up on me now. What the? Can you only give it one thing? Come Oh my. All, all right. All right. If you want that, fine. But look at this, guys. And then all you guys have to do is cover up the redstone with some slabs. And you're good to go. Oh my god. I, I, I feel like a genius today. How to make a auto stone generator. Oh, this would be so... Yo, this would be so useful. Guys, this would be so useful for Skyblock. Oh, okay. Yep. This is definitely something we got to test out. And wait, so it generates a stone and it pushes it. It, ke it. it keeps pushing it out. And once it's full right here, I think once it's full right here, it pushes it to the next line too. Whoa, okay. Yep, this is something we have to test out right now. Man, this one is full of good ones, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so this one should be very, very useful, especially for you Skyblock players. So, I mean, if you, if you get a hold of some redstone, I mean, it could be, you know, some different uh, redstone thing, but you want to basically build a normal cobblestone generator, I believe, just like so, right? And then I think you also need a sticky piston as well. So you need a sticky piston. You want to place that right here, I think. And then on top of that, you want to place a block of redstone. Bop. Just like... Oh, wait. No, actually, you want to place it right here. And then the sticky piston goes right there. Yep. There we go. Just like so, I think. Yep. Okay. And right... Wait. I think... I think right here is where you place the water, right? So place the water right here, goes down here, place the lava right here. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, well then. All right, all right. If I was actually playing, uh, you know, Skyblock, I'd be done for already. So uh, let me just place the lava right here. Boom, there we go. Breaks that. Yep, okay, now we got that done. I would have failed big time. All right, and then you want to basically fill this up with... Uh, Normal pistons, not sticky pistons, keep that in mind. Uh, the person had like seven, but we're just gonna go with, is that seven? Oh, okay, we do have seven. All right, so right here, you wanna place some redstone. And I think when the redstone torch gets like hit right here, and then it, it then activates the pistons to all move at the same time. So, should we test it out? Yep, let's test it out. This one should be easy. Hopefully. Okay, okay, it's working, it's working, it's pushing. Oh my god, it's so simple, yet so useful. Look, and it's gonna push it. Oh, oh, it's pushing it this way though. Oh, oops, 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 my my bad. Oh my gosh, guys, oh my gosh. The redstone's supposed to go backwards. My mistake. Let's try this again. It stopped right here, but let's keep it moving. Oh, wait, no, no, stop it. Stop the redstone. It broke the redstone right here because it went too far. <laughs> My bad. All right, there we go. Now it's creating layers. Yeah, guys, it's a it's a trial and error kind of thing. So let it activate and it'll push it to the next level. Watch. Let's see if it works. Please, please work. And success. Yep, you can keep this going. And then afterwards, grab your pickaxe and break all of these. Easy, 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 easy. All right, guys, this one has also been approved. Like... Man, these are all success. I love it. Oh, wait, that's like, that's kind of like a, like a refrigerator. Let, let's watch that again. So they, they put a dispenser behind a block. How, how does the, uh, the golden apple even go through the block? That's really cool though. 
How did it go through the... What the? It just went through the block. That'd be really cool if, like, someone... It's like a secret refrigerator. So, like, if people didn't know, how, like, that they had to click the button, you could basically hide your diamonds in there. Anything you want, basically. Oh, uh, yep. This is something we gotta test out. Guys, like, this is so, so cool. Okay, so it's time to make the refrigerator. I kind of understand how... Three, two, one. Okay, so this one is the ref three, two, one. Okay, so I finally understand how this works. So because no one can actually open the door unless they press the button, you could like use a lever or something like that, right? You you take the lever off every single time after you use it. So I'm just gonna place some block of irons. So you know it looks different from everything else because we're using quartz. Then place your door. Oops. And then look this way. That's why it wasn't working. There we go. All right. So right here, you want to place the button. Behind here, you just place the dispenser. Oops. How do you... Oh, my gosh. I'm messing up big time. And then now I got myself trapped in here. Oh, my gosh, guys. All right. Place the blocks of iron. <laughs> and then after that, place the door. Put some golden apples in here. Perfect. Uh, place a button right here. Redstone. Press the button. And it should dispense. Is it working? The gold. Oh, oh, it's working. Wait, wait. Did it work? Hold on. Oh, it, it just. Oh, it's just not going through the block. But it's there. But it's there, guys. So it does work. So this one also approved. It would look way cooler if it actually went through the, through the door. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Like, maybe it was the door that was getting in the way. That has to be it. Okay, I've seen, guys, I've seen this one where they make like a really cool looking bridge. Oh my, yeah, we have to test this one out, guys. Like it legit looks like an actual bridge in Minecraft. Like sometimes you don't have the blocks in Minecraft to actually make a bridge that looks like a actual, like this one actually looks like a bridge by using like a little, like, what do you call it? The, 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 the campfires and stuff like that. You have to admit that looks pretty cool. Okay, that one I'm gonna say for, this is gonna be the last one we're testing out guys. So let's go ahead and test all of them out. And uh, yeah, let, I, I'm so, so happy with this video. And for the last one, no redstone required. We just need to find a river or something like that where we can actually build oh there it is okay we got yes we got a nice body of water and we can build a bridge right here oh this is perfect i i probably need some slabs too huh okay so what we want to do is just set up the little bridge right here um i think it was two across right yeah so it's just two across just like so and then you want to build across guys i'm terrible at building i take a long time building so just forgive me real quickly. We just need to get across this little uh, river real quickly. Imagine someone, you know, riding a boat around here and they're like, oh, how do I get past this? And just like so, we are done with the bridge. This is actually a very long bridge. I'm not going to lie. And then after that, you want to place the campfires on top, right? How do I get rid of the fire? That's the real question. Do I just like pour water on top of it? I've actually never done this before. So... Yeah, I'm, I guess we're going to have to pour some water on top of it. But yeah, after you're done with this, I, I'll just I'll just let it you know smoke out and whatnot for now. Place some wood right here, um, and then how many do we go up? Just two, I believe. Two, maybe three. Yeah, just two. Place a lantern on top. Oh, this is actually quite nice for something that you don't even use redstone or anything like that. You're just you just gotta think outside the box, basically. Oh my. And then the trap doors alongside oh my sometimes the littlest things can make you know the biggest difference and just like so boom bop bada bing bada boom i like what i see guys rate this bridge from one to ten you know i really like the design of this and then you just put up oh come on put up all the uh okay let me use my hand there we go just put up all the trap doors just like so we're gonna have to use water for sure, guys. I don't think the fire is gonna die out anytime soon. But place this, place this. The fence is on top. Just like that. The lantern's on top, and we are done. And then wait, watch, 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 watch. I'm gonna time set it to night. Set midnight. And now that it's nighttime, it looks so much nicer too. And the finishing touch, guys, to finish off the video, 
Just place some water on top. Okay, this this might be a little this might be harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh my gosh, we actually have to pour water on all of them. Are you kidding me? I think it would look even better if the bridge wasn't so long, but hey, I do not mind. This is actually quite nice. It's not too bumpy either. Like, oh my gosh, I actually really, really like it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of all the Minecraft hacks that we went over today. But like I said, this is the last one. So, hey, if you guys want to see more, all you guys have to do is leave a like on this video and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next.